Last week on Cross Low, they sacked a construction worker because he raised concerns about health and safety on the largest construction site in Western Europe. One of our branch members got a job here through an agency on Monday. He was told on the Monday that there'll be three years' work. They said to him that the, the job's slightly behind, so would he be prepared to work weekends um, and do overtime, which he said yes he would. Um, then when he was out onto the, uh, onto the actual site itself after his induction, he was asked to go uh, to walk over this walkway that was unsafe. Um, basically, it was still reinforcing, ready for the concrete to be poured on the top of it. And basically, it just laid plywood over the top uh, and people were walking across. So he brought this up with several site managers saying that he wasn't going to cross this plywood and pointed out that it was an accident waiting to happen. He brought this up with several managers. One of the managers even said to him, look, keep quiet, you know, don't rock the boat. It's been peace here, there's lots of work. Then he took a photograph of the walkway. So then they tried to have a go at him for using his mobile phone in an unsafe area. And then they suddenly turn around to him and say, there's been a downturn of work and we've got to let you go. It's obvious that they're getting rid of him because he's raising health and safety issues on site. In two weeks' time, there is an inquest at St Pancras Coroner's Court about a worker called Renee who was killed on the Crossrail construction site. There is no intention of moving, no intention of moving until Crossrail come out and talk to us. We have now had a conversation with the company and there's been a backtrack and there's going to be a reinstatement. Not only a reinstatement, he's now on garden leave. Hopefully we've resolved it to everybody's favour. Thank you very much. Direct action once again wins.